thought you should see that. That was a Bible that was found lying next to a body by the river. I swear to God, I didn't, I've never seen anything like that. It's a thrill. It's about these, these two, two twin brothers born in, in the South Bronx. The, the landlord set their building on fire to get the insurance. It was, a thing, it was a common thing in New York City back in the day. And they lose their parents in this. And it changes them for the rest of their lives. Lord, we understand clearly the words you've sent us. And we will continue to be the ministers of that word. Forgive us for what we are about to do. Amen. Amen. Film, these two characters, uh, after they murdered someone that had done them wrong, they leave a, one of those pamphlets, Christian Pentecostal pamphlets behind. And on it, it said the word from the Lord from the ministers of his word. So this girl that kept this pamphlet all these years, or the guys that killed her father, referred to them as the ministers. Her dad died when she was a girl. These guys killed my father. And that really kind of affected her in a very, very deep way. It inspired her to become a cop. Her dad was a cop. You didn't work as hard as you did for that badge. Just throw it away on these guys. That's not what your father would have wanted. You're spooking everybody with this minister sh well, What's really interesting about the ministers is, is, well, I'm working again with Frank Reyes. He always takes something from his childhood. And in this one, it was the, the whole thing that was happening in the 70s when landlords were burning uh, their buildings to get the tenants out. In the 1970s, you know, uh, in the South Bronx, the, uh, the landlords were actually burning buildings down for insurance purposes. They, it, it actually, they actually made more money burning the buildings down than keeping them up. Uh, and uh, that's what was happening. And it, it, it was a strange time because some of them were doing it themselves and some of them would hire Latinos from the neighborhood to burn the buildings down themselves and pay them money. So it was a terrible time when it came to that kind of stuff. And this is something that I wanted sort of on the record in some way or another. And I, and I just put it as part of this film. In it, I play twins, two twin brothers who are, who they lose their parents in the fire. How many, how many people have to be hurt? How many people, damn it? What happens to them, huh? What happens to, to that little girl? What happens to all the people who don't have anybody to look out for them? What happens to all those people, huh? I don't know, but that's not our problem. It's not our problem, but can you live with that? Look, I love you, man. I really do, but you gotta understand that this is not the same thing. It is the same thing. It is the same thing. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It is the same thing. And that was a challenge to try to play the twin brothers, to make that really believable and to make that not cheesy or corny, because in the wrong hands, that could be really, really got awful. Actually, the fact that he played two characters wasn't my idea. That idea came from John, and I think this is some of his best work. In my opinion, I think it's some of his best work, and that's hard to say with someone like John Leguizamo. John's had a career that's just phenomenal. I think you know when you're able to do theater the way he does, you're able to do television the way he does, and you're able to do films the way he does. I don't know his equivalent. It was great. I mean, I I feel like I'm done because you know I work with the holy acting trinity of New York City: Pacino, De Niro, and now Keitel. Bringing Harvey into this thing was very it, it was difficult because you know when you're a Latino filmmaker and you're trying to make these movies, you say, "Well, I want Harvey Keitel." They're like, "Well, you know, uh, you know, it's hard to get Harvey. You're not really going to get Harvey." He read the script, liked it. We had lunch, and the rest is history. We got a job to do. Let's do it. I'll never doubt how bad I'm with these guys. Harvey Keitel was, you know, old school, like, I was just in heaven doing, you know, scenes driving around New York City with Harvey Keitel sitting next to me. What's the matter with you? You're like a 12-year-old. She says she likes up a 50 or 60 a day. Like I told you before, you give up the heart attack, I'll give up the cancer. I play in The Minister's a character by the name of Carlos Rojas. He is a businessman. When I was a kid, me and my boys, we used to play softball. Were you any good? We were very good. Thank you for asking. I think what he is, is um, Frank Reyes's illustration of the intelligence of the people that are in the South Bronx. You wanted me to tell you when I met somebody? Well, I met somebody. I think ultimately it really is like a Greek story. A story of, you know, a family that, that the father's been, been cut down, been gunned down, and then all of the tragedy that sort of comes from that. If this movie says anything about religion at all, it, it, it talks about the interpretation of it, the interpretation of the scripture, and, and whether they're using that as an excuse to do what they right, do, right. or whether they're using it you know, as, as, as something that has soothed their, their souls. But in the end, interpretation, it's, it's what it's all about when it comes to religion.